everyone, it's Tori, also known as Girly Girl Style, and uh, we're doing another impromptu video. Sometimes this happens. Uh, so we uh, recently asked all of you to give us some ideas on what kind of content you wanted to see, and a few of you actually asked for how Bill ships his packages. And so we've kind of been waiting to see if we were gonna have a good sales day because shipping one package at a time probably isn't that exciting. Um, but B, how, how's, how's the last 24 hours been? Not 24 hours, like the last five hours. How many sales have you had? Uh, seven, I think. Yeah, seven sales, which for us is awesome um, because seven sales on a Wednesday, essentially, it's today. Thursday. Well, it is Thursday, but that was from last night. Um, is pretty phenomenal. So I'm excited to show you how Bill is going to be doing his shipping process, how he wraps, um, how we print, and all that thing, uh, all those things. Uh, so that is what this video is going to be about. If you are brand new here, we are online resellers. If you can't tell from our inventory right there, uh, and uh, yeah, so this is how we ship our Poshmark package. Did it just pulled up? No, here we are. Uh, first thing Bill is going to do is he is going to print his shipping label. So from Poshmark, um, oh, I don't want to show people's names. I'll blur that. I'll blur it. It'll be okay. Um, so he's just going to ship that. And we use this little pretty thing right here. She's gorgeous. Um, this dust is a little much. A little, little dusty action. Um, so anyway, because Posh doesn't have a bulk print, you can't print in bulk. So what he's just going to do is he's going to print. And then what we do uh, um, for our shipping is we actually pull it out of inventory. Um, from the inventory spreadsheet that I use. And then what he just did right there is he wrote the name. Now, um, a lot of times on the inventory spreadsheet, it'll have the SKU number, so essentially the location number. He, I don't know if he's actually put this one away, so he might have just used the name. Yeah, I'm not sure if I have either. We're gonna find out here real quick. But he is just sorting, and actually if you go to categories and turn off the categories, it'll make it easier. Stolen. I know, I have this spreadsheet that makes it more challenging. Um, and so the way that we have our inventory set up is if you do a quick little command F to search for it, then you can find it. Right. And you'll see right there, it is in location N 854. So he will write that on the back of the item. Actually, I'm just gonna go pull it. Yeah, he's just gonna pull it. Normally he writes it on the back of the item. Usually, but no, no. He's like, usually, but you're following me around like a crazy person. So, um, so he'll come over, he'll find the bin. This is in and then he'll locate the item and pull it. pull it. Now this is, you know, when you only have a couple of sales, this works pretty well, but typically if you're doing this at a lot of the time, you will, and here's Lily, by the way, she's hot, it's a little warm today. Usually you'll print them all at the same time, write those inventory numbers on the back of them and then go pull them. Uh, that turns into a very efficient plan, but he is annoyed that I'm following him around with the- Kind of annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> with the camera right now. So anyway, so that's the first one. He also marks it out of the inventory spreadsheet with how much and all that, um, just so that we can remember that is done. So that's step one. He's gonna do that for the rest of the items. He'll get those printed and then we will show you the packaging piece. Okay, so now we have taken all of the items out of inventory. You can see this pretty little list right there. We like to see that long train. How do those sales make you feel, B? Good. That means we can donate money this month. Yay! Yeah. Um, so talk us through what you are doing right now. I'm bagging up shoes. This is what I'm doing right now. So when for storage reasons, you don't wrap them in the bag before you ship them? No. Because if they smell, they're going to smell. And I always spray them out before I put them in the bag. And then why do you put them in the bag when you ship them? Because if anybody's received anything from the mail or the postal service, those boxes look like they've been through like World War III. That's that box that yep. we got yesterday. And these are just bread bags, um, by the way. So these are actually super cheap, super affordable. You can buy them on Amazon. We have like that whole roll 
that we've had forever, forever and ever, and they last a very long time. Um, so if you wanted to see kind of how we mostly store shoes, we keep them in these plastic bins to keep them safe and secure. And then when Bill pulls them out, then he wraps them in these. Now, something we do if they are, um, uh, suede or something that could be damaged by rubbing on each other, he'll typically put two different bags and then just put them one inside the other to keep them protected. So the cool thing about today is that he did have a variety of different items. So there are shoes and clothing items. So you'll get, kind of get to see both. And then these are the items he already pulled. So if we haven't shared with you before, and I think I showed you this it's a little messy. We're hoping we can move in the next few months. Um, but this is how the inventory system is. And then when we get all those numbers and you can see on the back here is where we have all of the descriptions and the locations. And Bill has actually already pulled those items right here. And then here, we do keep some of our most common boxes, free USPS boxes, by the way. We keep them at the ready to make it super simple. And then we also have this giant collection of random boxes and shipping material that are just here because that is where they go. They're out of the way. And Bill does a really good job of keeping this um, room organized because it's also my it's also my office. So I've got this little tiny area over here. So that is great. All right. So then, do you use tissue for every package? Yep. Um. No. If it's five dollar sale, they're not getting tissue. So for most, and we don't typically have a lot of $5 sales, so that's good news too. Um, yes, but Bill does like to use the tissue. And why uh, do you like to use tissue? Well, because, if I could get this rolled up, um, I don't know, it makes it like you're opening a present somebody sent you, but you actually purchased. Makes it nice, I think. And this is how Bill does it. I mean, this isn't just because he's on camera. This is why I wanted to show you all because he does this with all of my items too. Um, I only have one package going out, but you'll see, I'll show you how he does that because mine's a tiny little, tiny little package. Um, but he'll do that. And then you'll notice he does put a little bit of protective um, bumper in there in the box. And that is pretty standard for shoes. Now these boxes work really well. So is this is this your preferred size box for no, shoes? No, I like the shoe box, but these aren't like those Uggs I sold that were gigantic. Mm -hmm. See, this, they're not gonna move around, so there's no, no risk of anything happening to the shoes. Oh, and then I, sh I guess I should show this area over here. This is our shipping station. So uh, yeah, it's a little messy right now because it's sun season, so I have some shades out here, but um, we have, you know, our cards, all this, the tape Bill's using, our bags, and then down here, Bill keeps the tissue paper, and then, you know, books, because why not? And then I ordered this. It looks like a crazy thing. This is a massage gun, by the way, so it's plugged into the wall over here. Um, so anyway, and then, you know, that kind of stuff. So he's filling out. He always does this, by the way. He always writes... Well, actually, you don't always do a card. So in this case, tell us why you're doing a card. The price was right, and I think he had some issues yesterday when he tried to buy them the first time. And usually if there's a payment issue, they just ghost you and not come back. First thing this morning, so. Oh, wait, let's show, I want to show what the actual finished product looks like. So then these are Bill's business cards. They say thank you, and then on the back, it just says... Thank you for supporting my small business, Bill. And then he did pop that little extra card in there. So it looks nice. And again, this was a $35 uh, price point that they didn't have to come back. They had a payment issue. So he wanted to do a little bit more. And you'll notice it didn't take much time um, to do just that little tiny bit. And I'm um, going back to the tissue paper because I know we you know, talked about that. Is there a reason that we use white tissue paper? Yeah, because if it gets wet, it doesn't bleed color all over the place. Yes, exactly. And it's more cost effective. The colors usually 
cost a little more. Exactly. So cost effective. And, you know, white tissue paper is biodegradable. So what, that's the other thing. And tissue paper is nice. Now, those plastic bags we're using are not, we know this, don't come at us. We get it. But we've had them forever. So we are getting through all of this inventory of our um, shipping supplies before we make a change because we don't want to waste anything. So we, I know we have them. <laughs> Things will change once we run out of these bags. So this is an item, this is just a regular shirt item. And how much was this item? 22 bucks. Okay, so this is another $22 sale. So he's gonna do the exact same thing. He's gonna fold this up, super nice. I'm always so impressed because I look over and I see these little, these little gifts, these little packages that he puts together. And again, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can find this white tissue paper specifically um, you know, in bulk for a really great price and it works super, super well. Uh, you could also use a number of different things. We keep some additional supplies over here. Um, you'll notice that anytime someone sends us a package, we keep all the ribbons. We also use twine because twine's another cheap way to add a little oomph. Um, Bill, I think you only use the twine when you have like a big bundle or something. Yeah, this is used for special occasions to kind of put those um, multiple items together, but it is a great way to add a little bit of extra, a little bit extra to it. Yeah, we have a whole, thought we did. A little ones. Oh yeah, put them up there. I try to keep things organized as much as possible. And we'll list down below in the video the size boxes that we use because we make sure there's nothing sensitive over here. I'm gonna I'm gonna come in from this angle so my information isn't shown. But I do keep this here. Um, so then when I'm ordering the boxes, these are actually the sizes that I typically order pretty often. So I just keep them at the ready so I can order them from USPS.com, um, and then I don't have to go searching all over for them. So that is good. And then uh, tell us about this last step. The tape? Uh-huh. It's hot and the uh, little sticky stuff on the box doesn't do well in the heat. So if you put a little piece of tape, you know nobody's gonna get a free thing if the sticky comes off. Yeah, we had that happen before where we heard from a number of people that the little Tyvek bags or the boxes were just coming out. So we just decided early on that we would add that extra little bit of protection there. It tends to work out really well. So yeah, then with this one, he's trying to think about in between box or a, a smaller shoe, um, which we've had forever. And how much did you sell those for? Uh, 20? Yeah. Um, we were so happy to get $20 for those. They're so cool. They're Puma. They look like Tom's. Um, but now he has to find the appropriate box. Are you going to use just another? Oh, you're all going to use a shoe box. So here's the shoe box size. And we do have boxes in all different shapes and sizes. I prefer using a lot of the envelopes, but I, you know, I ship a lot of things on Etsy. So we use plain white envelopes for that. But the boxes help keep everything protected. And especially with Posh, you know, it doesn't cost extra to use boxes. So why not keep everything protected? And they are free. If we did not make that emphasis once, we'll make it again. USPS boxes are free. Use them. Yes. All right, he's gonna wrap up the rest of those. I think that these items are all gonna be very similar. And then I'll show you what he does with my, with my item in a little bit. Pretty packages. So the last one I told you I was gonna show you is my package. I only have this little baby package today, but I sold one of my scrunchie and cotton masks um, on Poshmark, which I typically sell on Etsy. Oh wait, I wanna show them what you put in my packages. So in my packages, they're a little bit different. I have a little bit different branding, obviously, than Bill, cause I'm a little bit frillier. So I have my cards with my contact information, and then I had these printed out. Um, they're just on, they're just on photo stock. They're from Snapfish. From Snapfish. And they were not expensive. I think 10 bucks for a hundred of them. And Bill always puts those in the package. It's just a nice little surprise. Um, I typically put them in 
with all my packages, even if I'm sending them on Etsy. And then uh, he'll wrap this in tissue just like everything else. But you'll notice we don't put a bag around this. So this is one of those newer, we're being more environmentally friendly. Um, and we will put this in, I think, a Tyvek bag. So it will stay protected, um, which is really great news. But I mean, how cute is this? If I ordered a mask and scrunchie set online and it came uh, in this cute little package with wrapping and a sticker and colors, I would be super pleased with this. Um, and this just goes to show you, you don't have to do so much with it. Um, it takes a few seconds for Bill to wrap that up. So that's great. And then he's gonna pick a sticker and a bag. We have these these bags we haven't used in a while. Ooh, what about the other one? Actually, no, I'm gonna let you choose. It's your choice. But I have this other bag that I love that we never get to use. Oh, I love this one, especially because they bought that mask that was yellow daisies. I think that's awesome. It was bumblebees. But... Oh, bumblebees and daisies. Now, um, you'll see that I have a sticker here. I don't know if we want to use that for this because it's not Etsy. Um, with Etsy, I tend to use it because of branding because um, we have to use the plain envelopes and not the USPS. But um, whatever Bill wants to do, because I trust his judgment, and especially because that is one of my items that I made. So that's super cool. So yeah, use it. I think it's cool. Looks great. Uh, and it's so pretty. I love it. So anyway, so that's how Bill wraps mine. And they're all his. And there's my baby sale. Um, and then we'll just stick the sticker on there. And I've seen people that actually use stamps. So they use stamps to put their logo, um, which is awesome. These I got a deal on. I think it was, I don't know, 50 for 38 bucks. Uh, now they are the circle ones, so they're a little bit harder to take the back off of. You may have noticed that. But look how cool. Look how cool. I love, love, love it. Now, I did see a tip recently. Someone was using the Rolo to print brand stickers. I thought it was amazing, and that is something that we might wanna try. So, that didn't take very long at all. How long do you think that took you? Mm, half an hour, I guess. Yeah, um, but that's also because I was annoying you, and I was bugging you, and I was um, ruining your mojo. That's true. Yes. So anyway, um, those are the packages. I'm gonna get a little cover shot of this. All right, so that is how Bill ships his items. That is a very, look, there's Lily hanging out right there. Uh, that's a very abbreviated kind of um, way that he does it. He's just very heads down, but he makes things pretty and he's not, you know, a frou-frou kind of guy. So he doesn't, and one of the things that I wanted to point out is it doesn't have to be over the top. It can be easy. It can be whatever, as Bill mentioned, whatever that looks like to you. I like to have the bright colors. I like the flowers. I like the, you know, pops of color, but that's my branding. His branding is more minimalist. And I think that it's so professional and it works for so many different types of products. So that is it. Like Bill said, um, leave a comment down below with how you ship your items. If you have a tip or trick that you want to share, we would love to hear what you have to say. If you are on Poshmark and have a Poshmark closet, I guess you would have one, um, put that down below as well. And we'll go in and share the Posh love with the items that we love from your closet. Um, and then also, you know, think about subscribing. We'd love to have you as part of our uh, family. We put out a lot of reseller related content. And as things are starting to um, get a little bit, a little bit more comfortable for us here, we are putting out more content. So that's great. So thank you everybody for joining. Uh, until next time, everybody. See ya!